Well, it, it just depends because sometimes we have practice in the afternoon. So, I mean, my whole routine changes. I would probably wake up like four hours later. <laughs> and when practice in the afternoon, I'd probably eat a bigger breakfast, like with some eggs and stuff. And now I'm just eating something a little bit lighter. Probably just like granola bar, or banana, probably some coffee, and then head on out to practice. Kaylan Acosta is a typical box to box midfielder. He's not somebody who bowls you over with some jaw dropping skill set, but he's just good at so many different things. He's one of those guys, if you play him tight, then he'll run past you. If you give him space, he'll do something good with the ball. I feel better with the ball. I like to have a lot of touches. I feel like one of my strengths is I have a big engine. So when guys are dying in the 80th minute, I'm still running. I think that I use that to my advantage. Some players maybe stay up front and they just try to score goals. Some players maybe are just defending. But Kellen's the kind of guy who he's going to stop the goal on one side and score a goal on the other side. So he's kind of involved in the entire game, which not many people can do. I think there's a real possibility that Kellen Acosta could become a face of U.S. soccer. I want to be a mainstay on the national team and be a consistent player there. I know I kind of get caught in here and there, but I want to be a guy that's already written on the list from the get-go. You talk to a guy like Tim Howard who started to play with Kellen Acosta for the U.S. national team, and he says this guy could be a star. I definitely think that moving forward he's going to be a major player for their team. I think center midfield he could really make a difference for that team. This is a guy who's very ambitious and even though he's from the Dallas area, he wants to play at the top levels of the game. I'm trying to expand my horizons and go overseas. I'm not sure when and where that would be, but when the time comes I know I'll be ready. I would predict that Kellen Acosta will be playing in Europe at some point in the next few years and that FC Dallas will make a lot of money on that sale. I can't complain. I mean, parents are only 15 minutes away. I mean, all my friends are here. I mean, this is a city I grew up in. I know the ins and outs of Frisco, Plano, Allen, all, the whole area. So, I mean, this is a place I'm just real comfortable in. One thing that MLS started doing several years ago was the league started encouraging each of its teams to develop their own academies. The academy is in a structure made by the club, FC Dallas, with uh, coaches that are prepared to create scenarios for the players to grow. The MLS homegrown player made an incentive for the individual clubs to take players from the area around that team and then develop them. It's been a long ride. All in all, I mean, the academy system has definitely provided me with the right tools to be most pro-ready that I can be. We're starting to see some real gains with the homegrown player program in MLS. FC Dallas has done better than basically anyone in the league. Just being with the academy then going to the first team was, was definitely an added plus for me and I was definitely ready when I made the transition. If I wasn't going to play soccer, I don't even know what I would do. I mean, soccer is, is a sport that I've grown love since I was four years old. I sacrificed so much to, to this game and without it, honestly, I don't know where I would be.